Hey there, are you a freelancer? Or are you looking to manage some freelancers? Might be something you're looking into? Well, good, because this tutorial is gonna talk about how you can build a freelancer management template and system inside of software. Let's dive right into it. So first of all, we do have a freelancer management system template here at Softer. Uh, some of the key features and functionality here are that it has different access levels, you can create new projects and tasks, and you can pay and download invoices, search and filter functionality is top tier, and there's even application submission forms within them as well. Let's dive right into it. So as always with the templates, you can press preview and take a look at this from a few different standpoints. So looking at this here, I see that there are three levels of user groups, one for HR, one for employees, and one for freelancers. So if I wanted to utilize this template, I can press use template and then connect it with my primary data source, which I usually use Airtable. And then I can copy the base to my account. So let's add the base. We'll see that we have a few different ones here. Users, as obviously there are the different user types that I mentioned. Then there are freelancers, projects, invoices, and feedback for those different projects. So let's just press create application so that we can get this up and running. So after this application is created, we'll notice here that there are a few different pages made on the side, all pertaining to those different tables that I mentioned previously. So really nice at this dashboard level for employee and HR, we'll see that there's a freelancer directory. So this is essentially what the company side of things would be able to see. So you can see this, you'll notice here, visibility standpoint, if you are a logged in user, you see this freelancer directory. And if not, this is essentially a homepage that gets you to try to sign in. So it's like I press preview here and you'll notice I'm previewed as a non-logged in user. But if I were to log in, go to a logged in user, take a glance here. I wanna look at it from an HR standpoint. Let's go to users. Let's be Betty Garcia from HR. I can then preview as a user. Now I'm inside of that freelancer directory, which is really nice. Um, first, I love the layout. I like the little sidebar here. And I can see different options for freelancers. So Aaron Cox is an IT and programming freelancer. That's his expertise. He is from Kenya in Nairobi. He's, his projects are Facebook page configuration and his availability is, is 10 hours a week. So if I wanna select assign projects, I then would be able to add different projects to him. So let's add a new co product launch, press update. And you'll notice right here that this is going to adjust what the projects are, so I can do it right there. And if I click on him in general, it does bring me to his profile, which gives me more info on him, like his email. I can update any of this different data if I'm the HR side of things. When it comes to freelancer profiles, you'll take a note here and see the actions buttons are limited by HR. So essentially HR is that highest level, that like sort of admin level. Um, where they are able to update a lot of these different things. Assigning projects is available by people who are normal employees, but updating the metadata, that's more on HR. As you can see, there are the multiple assigned projects within there, and that is essentially filtered through the amazing feature that we have, which is freelancer is, and then freelancer's name, which is the one that you are clicked into for their profile. So really cool stuff there. Same with feedback. This is essentially gonna to filter to the feedback for that freelancer. And you'll notice that his projects have received some very strong performance. Aaron has done great work on the project. That's awesome to hear. And as an employee, I can add new feedback here and give a rating between do not rehire and very strong performance. And then also the assigned projects have a details page themselves, which if I click on, I then am able to see them, assign freelancers, and then the other side of this comes when it comes to the project details because money is involved and uh, the employees are not necessarily gonna be able to handle this, but you'll notice here, these invoices can only be seen in this entire block by HR. Because then as an HR person, I could approve this invoice and then uh, that would mean that the company could send out the money for that person. Now. Just taking a look at this from a freelancer standpoint, we do have an overview page of freelancers on that page, but we also have projects here. And in both senses, I can actually search this bar to look up things like Nuco. You'll notice there are multiple Nuco projects. 
Um, I can take a look for a multitude of different things. If I go to this projects page, you'll see that they are set to filter based off of category, but you also can search by name and description. Maybe you wanna also search for freelancers assigned. Totally up to you. Um, you can adjust that to your liking. So if I, for example, were to look up part of the description, like design, see how many things have design in it. This and this both have design in it. So that ended up working for both name and description. And then once again, as somebody in HR, I can add a new project. And if you wanna take a look at the action buttons, you can see that that is available for employees and for HR. And the visibility of this is still only seen by them as well. So they can add projects here and then we'll add it to the system. Now, from an invoice inbox standpoint, let's see all of the different ones here, see the actions taken on them. And it essentially just aggregates all the invoices in one spot. Now, last but not least, let's take a look at this entire system as a freelancer. Let's go back to the home. And you'll see on this dashboard, if I click here, all I'm able to see really is my profile. Um, so I'm able to add my expertise, my location, and I'm also able to see my different projects from within here as well as my invoices. So I'm not necessarily able to add anything, but I am able to have a view of everything, my projects and invoices and whatnot, as well as update my data. Uh, this is very important so you can have a nice profile, make sure that you're getting the most out of uh, this platform in order to get the most odd ends and jobs. I love freelance work. I think it's an awesome opportunity for the worker themselves and for the employer. So shout out to Software for making a very simple system for managing a contractor slash freelancer and employee relationship. If you like this video and wanna see more videos on how to improve your skills using software, make sure to check out this video on how to improve your skills using software even more.